If you want to kill your hunger, then you're in the right place. Your hunger is controlled by two powerful hormones, leptin and ghrelin. And today we'll explore how these hormones can make or break your fat loss mission and how you can balance them for better results. So before we dive in, if you're wondering who the heck I am and why you should listen to me, my name's Doug and I've been a personal trainer and nutritionist and a coach for over five years now. And in that time, I've helped well over 100 guys and girls all around the world to get amazing fat loss results like you're seeing on your screen right now. Leptin and ghrelin are often referred to as your hunger hormones. Leptin's job is to tell your brain when you're full, but on the other hand, ghrelin stimulates your appetite, making you feel hungry. Leptin is produced by your fat cells, whereas ghrelin is mostly produced in your stomach. And these two hormones are meant to work together to maintain your body's energy balance. So when they're out of balance, it can make weight loss a real challenge. Okay, let's start with leptin. Leptin plays a key role in regulating your body weight. When your body has plenty of fat stores, your fat cells release leptin into your bloodstream to signal to your brain that you're full and you should stop eating. But here's the catch. When you lose weight, your fat stores shrink, and as a result, your leptin levels are going to drop. This can not only make you feel hungrier, but can also slow down your metabolism. Now let's talk about ghrelin. Ghrelin is released into your bloodstream by your stomach when it's empty, sending a signal to your brain that it's time to eat. When you're dieting or cutting calories, more ghrelin can be released, making you feel hungrier. And this is one of the key reasons that dieting and losing weight can be so hard. When these two hormones are out of balance, when your leptin is low, when your ghrelin is high, you're likely to feel hungry all the time. And that's obviously gonna make it a lot harder to stick to your diet and lose the weight. All right, so how do we go about balancing these hormones to make losing weight and body fat easier? Let's break it down into four key areas. Diet, sleep, exercise, and stress. First up, let's talk about your diet. Now, it's important to say right off the bat that the quality of the calories that you're eating is going to affect how your hunger hormones respond. Eating high fiber foods like fruit, vegetables, and whole grains can help keep you full for longer, reducing your ghrelin levels. Protein's also great for this. It's more satiating than your carbs and your fat, and it can help reduce your ghrelin levels and make you feel fuller, as is water. Dehydration is often confused for hunger. And if you're dehydrated, that can also cause ghrelin to rise leading to unnecessary snacking. So staying hydrated can counteract that. Drinking water is also a little bit of a sneaky hack when you're trying to lose weight and body fat. And that's because when you drink water, it fills your stomach and expands the walls. And when the walls of your stomach are expanded, signals are sent to your brain telling it that you're full. You see, it's a little bit sneaky because your brain doesn't know what your stomach is full with. It's just being told that it's full. And as a result, it's gonna lower the levels of ghrelin in your bloodstream. But it's not just about fiber, protein, and water. Processed foods that are high in refined sugars and unhealthy fats can lead to fluctuations in your blood sugar levels. And that's gonna trigger an overproduction of ghrelin, making you feel hungrier. Whereas healthier fats found in things like nuts, avocados, and even olive oil, can help increase the production of leptin. So by focusing on nutrient-dense, fibrous, whole foods, you can better regulate your body's hunger hormones and make weight loss and fat loss a lot easier. I'd encourage you to plan your meals to include a balance of protein, fiber, and healthy fats. This is gonna help keep you full and help manage hunger and cravings. Eating too quickly can also prevent leptin from signaling that you're full. So when you're eating your meals, slow down. Enjoy your food, chew thoroughly and take at least 20 minutes to eat. And last but certainly not least on the diet side, a healthy gut microbiome can help the production and functioning of leptin and ghrelin. So fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, and even sauerkraut can help. Okay, let's move on and talk about sleep. Poor sleep is one of the main things that's gonna disrupt the balance of leptin and ghrelin. So you wanna aim for at least seven hours of high quality sleep a night to help regulate the balance of these hormones. Clean up your sleep environment by making sure your bedroom is cold, dark and quiet. So invest in blackout blinds or shutters, a fan or even aircon and earplugs. Trust me, that investment is gonna pay back tenfold. And try to stick to the three, two, one rule when you can, where you stop eating three hours before you go to bed, you stop drinking two hours before bed, and you try to come off your screens, whether it's laptops, phones, or TVs, at least an hour before bed. But my best hack when it comes to sleep is setting a bedtime alarm rather than a wake-up alarm. Because you know what it's like. In a world that's full of distractions, we need a trigger. We need something to tell us when it's time to switch off, 
lying down and go to bed. Getting a good night's sleep or ideally several in a row is one of the highest leverage activities that you can do. And that's because it has so many amazing downstream benefits, like what we're talking about today with regulating your hunger hormones and making your weight loss journey that much easier. Exercise also plays a key role, especially a combination of cardio and strength training, which can help balance leptin and ghrelin, reduce your appetite, and improve your body's sensitivity to these hormones. But more important than exercise, make sure you're getting outside and getting some steps in. If you walk 10,000 steps a day, not only is it gonna help you to burn three to 500 calories every day, but it's also gonna help with our next topic, stress. High stress levels can increase ghrelin and lower leptin, which is bad. Because if that happens, it's going to make you feel hungrier and could lead to overeating. So you could try techniques like mindfulness, yoga, or deep breathing. But to be honest, the best thing for your stress is living a healthy, active lifestyle. Good food, hard exercise, and great sleep. But before I close out the video, I've written down a few things for you to be wary of. First up, severe caloric restriction or constantly yo-yo dieting can cause your leptin levels to crash. And remember, when your leptin levels are low, you're not gonna feel as full. So that's a bad thing and we wanna avoid it. The other thing to watch out for is irregular eating patterns or skipping meals. This has been proven to cause spikes in ghrelin, which can lead to hunger later in the day. And I already touched on the quality of calories and the importance that has and the fact that processed foods with refined sugars, unhealthy fats can be very detrimental. And what overeating these foods can also lead to is insulin resistance, which you might know is a precursor to type two diabetes, but it can also significantly impact your body's ability to produce leptin, which in the long run is gonna make it much harder for your brain to detect when you're full. So there you have it. By understanding your hunger hormones, leptin and ghrelin, you can take control of your appetite, you can reduce your cravings, and you can make losing weight and body fat a lot easier. But just remember, it's all about finding the right balance in your body. I ran you through a lot of practical tips and lifestyle interventions, but if you're brand new to this, start slow. But just bear in mind, it's all well and good understanding how your hunger hormones work. But if you're not in a calorie deficit, you're not gonna lose weight. So if you'd like me to calculate personalized nutrition targets for you so that you can reach your fitness goals faster, click the first link in the description that's underneath this video and I'll send them straight over to you. I'll leave the video here. I really hope you enjoyed it, but more important than that, I hope you found it useful. If you did, I would absolutely love it if you could show your support by smashing the thumbs up button to like the video, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until the next time, bye.